According to YouTube, 100% of the people who watched my last review were men. And that surprised me because it was a review of the new Apple AirTag key finder. Is it only men who lose their keys? Anyway, I'm obviously not making enough films for women. So this week, ladies, here's one for you. It's a gadget to trim your hedge with. There we go. Oh. Actually, it's not this one. It's the new electric hedge trimmer from Steger. The question is, will it cut anything more substantial than a lettuce leaf? Let's find out. And whilst I'm here, I'll look at the Steger electric strimmer too. And by the way, if you enjoy this review, do click the subscribe link below. Most handheld garden machinery wasn't really designed with women in mind. For a start, petrol hedge trimmers like this one use two-stroke engines which run on a mixture of oil and petrol. You have to make the mixture in a special container like this one. And it's messy. The oil always goes everywhere. And then there's all the fun you'll have trying to start the damn thing. Now, I don't know about you, but here at Guthrie Towers, the idea that a throttle and a choke are things you need to fiddle with to start an engine would be completely alien to my wife. For her, throttle and choke are the things she'd like to do to me when I start snoring in the middle of the night. And even if you do know the difference between your throttle and your choke, you can spend hours, days, even months fiddling around with them until you hit the sweet spot needed to start the engine. Start, you bastard! And that's if you haven't had a heart attack by then. Plus, they're noisy, smelly and quite heavy. A bit like me in some ways. But now there's an alternative, because like everything else in the world these days, garden machinery has gone electric. And like everything else, electric garden machinery is quieter, simpler and cleaner than the petrol versions. So what's not to like? Well, the thing about petrol engines is that they do sound like they mean business. That you're going to be able to cut your way through a giant redwood with this thing. Electric motors, well, they sound a little bit feeble. Here we go. But are they? Well, electric garden equipment is rated in volts, usually somewhere between 18 and 80 volts. 18 volts is a bit feeble. Okay for doing a bit of very light work, a little bit of edging or a light trim of your bush, but not much more. At the other end of the scale, 80 volts is going to give you a similar amount of power as a petrol machine. Then there's the question of how long they last before they need recharging. Batteries are rated in amp hours, a measure of how long they last. I've got a small to medium sized garden, but with quite a lot of hedge, some of which is only a tad smaller than Beecher's Brook. So I've gone for the 48 volt Steger SPH 700 AE with a 4 amp hour battery, which I bought from mowermagic.co.uk. The question is, will it cut the hedge properly and how much hedge will it cut before it runs out of juice? And after that, I'll show you how much strimming you can get done with the Steger SBC48 with a 5 amp hour battery. So this is my old petrol hedge trimmer. And this is the new Steger. And the first thing to say about the two is that they, they do weigh pretty much exactly the same. There's really very little difference between the two. The one big difference uh, that's noticeable straight away is that the petrol one I've got has a reach of that long, whereas the Steger is telescopic and it goes all that way. And that's going to make it a lot easier for me to trim that hedge. But let's see how well it performs.
Oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Well, there we go. I may not be about to win any topiary awards, uh, but this thing's made pretty light work of that hedge and it got through all the growth just as easily as my petrol powered hedge cutter. And, you know, I've still got <coughs> full power on the battery. So I, I'm going to go and see how much I can do of the front hedge as well. I managed to do the whole of the front hedge, this shrub, these two shrubs and a couple more I haven't shown you. God, and I've still got three bars left on the battery. Die, will you? I think the moral of the story here is that this thing's going to keep on going way beyond the time when you've had enough hedge trimming. Right, so let's see how we get on with the Steger SBC 48AE. I think this has now been superseded by a newer model, but still it's a 48 volt uh, strimmer and I've put the uh, metal blade, the brush cutter blade uh, on it because this is quite, going to be quite heavy going. Oh my God. Oh my God. Somebody call me a doctor. Uh, well, there we go. I've just cut a good old long strip there and it was pretty rough stuff. Um, let's see what the, uh, the battery's got left in it. Yeah, it's still got three bars. Bloody hell, I wouldn't want to do much more than that. I'd have to call an ambulance. 20 years ago, I'd have been able to do that all day long. Now I'm absolutely knackered after about 30 minutes. Anyway, the Steger SPH 700 AE. What a great bit of kit. It's at least as powerful as my petrol hedge trimmer. It's got a longer reach with its telescopic arm. It's easier to adjust the blade angle. It's clean, it's quiet, you don't have to mix petrol and oil all the time, uh, and the battery lasts longer than I do. So uh, I can't fault it. It's a great bit of kit. Um, then we have the Steger SBC 48AE brush cutter stroke strimmer. And again, I'm going to struggle to fault this thing. Um, it's perhaps not quite as powerful as my petrol uh, strimmer, but you saw it, I was strimming away there in some pretty rough stuff for about half an hour and uh, I still had three bars out of four on the battery by the end of it. So are these, is this hedge trimmer, the hedge trimmer that women around the world have been waiting for? Am I going to be able to persuade my wife that it's time she did her share of the hedge trimming round here? Well, given that I'm not married to Martina Navratilova or Serena Williams, I think it's a bit of a long shot. These things are still pretty heavy and it's bloody hard work. So I think my wife's let off that one. If you know anyone who does the gardening, you might like to share this film with them. Otherwise, till the next time, I've been Arlo Guthrie. Bye bye.